Hello students, in this video we'll prove the Intermediate Value Theorem. The Intermediate Value Theorem states the following. It states that if F maps an interval AB into R is continuous, and Y is a value, and F of A less than y less than f of b. So if I can find a value y in between a and b, then there's an x. There is x in the interval a, b. It's not going to be a or b. So it's going to be open. So let's make that sure it's open. Technically that's correct, but let's make sure that it's an open set. x in the open interval a to b, such that f of x is equal to that value y. Okay, so we're going to need one sort of preliminary result for this, and so here's the preliminary result. Here's a lemma. Let's just assume that f is continuous at the point, um, at a point a, and f of a is greater than zero. Then, f of x is greater than zero in a neighborhood of A. Okay, and so we can prove this as follows. So here's the proof. So the proof of this lemma is as follows. Proof. I can let epsilon be equal to just f of a over 2, f of a over 2. Then there is delta such that what? Such that if x minus a, if x minus a is less than delta, then what can we say? Then we can say that f of x minus f of a is less than epsilon, which in this case is less than f of a over 2, because that's a positive number. Now, what will that say? What can we say in this interval, in this range over here? Well, if we unwind this definition over here, what this says, this says that negative f of a over 2 is less than f of x is less than f of a over 2, and I'd have a minus f of a over here, so I'd put a plus f of a and then a plus f of a. So what that says, that says that, oh, this term over here is just f of a over 2, so f of a over 2 is less than f of x if x is in this range over here, if x lies in this interval from a minus delta to a plus delta, and that's the interval that we want in question, the neighborhood of a on which the function remains non-negative. Okay, and so now let's proceed to the proof of the intermediate value theorem, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to assume, so suppose that f of a less than y less than f of b, right? And consider Consider the set I, which is the set of all x in the interval a, b, such that f of x is less than y. Okay. So, of course, we know that uh, clearly x, uh, clearly the value a is going to be in here because f of a is less than y. So, clearly the a is an i. So, a is clearly an an i, and that says the i is not empty, so i is a bounded and not empty and that means that if I, I can consider the number x, which is just a soup of i, this number x exists, okay? And my claim now is that this f of this particular value of x, let's call, maybe we'll call this thing over here, let's call it x tilde, right? So I claim that f of x tilde is equal to y, okay? So I can choose, of course, since it's the supremum, there exists a sequence, there exists xn that converges to x tilde with xn in the set i by supremum approximation or convergence. And so what I can say over here is I can say that f of xn is strictly less than y. And by continuity, by continuity, I 
I can pass to the limit over here, and that would say that f of x tilde is what? f of x tilde is less than or equal to y. Now, to get the other direction, let's assume by contradiction, suppose that f of x tilde was strictly less than y. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to consider this function over here. Consider g of x, which is what? g of x, which is going to be y minus f of x, y minus f of x. Then g of x tilde is greater than 0. g of x tilde is greater than 0. And there's a neighborhood of x tilde where this is still true. And there exists, by the lemma, by the lemma, there exists a x tilde minus delta to x tilde plus delta. There's an interval over there where g of, uh, on which, and then g on this interval over here, so g is going to map that interval x minus x tilde minus delta, x tilde plus delta will still be greater than zero. What that says, that says that, g, this says that the function g of x tilde plus delta is greater than zero. g of x tilde plus delta is greater than zero, which tells me what? That tells me that f of x tilde plus delta is less than y. And that's going to be a contradiction because I know that x tilde is the what? x tilde is the supremum, so that's a contradiction. So in fact, it cannot be the case that f of x tilde is strictly less than y, so our conclusion therefore is that f of x tilde, so f of x tilde, must therefore be equal to y, and that completes our proof of the intermediate value theorem. Thank you very much.